Hey everybody, welcome back to Tomcat Air Guns. Today we're going to take a look at the Air Crony Chronograph. Let's get some of the specs out of the way real quick. The Air Crony retails for $260. If you want, you can get this barrel guide system. It's a support system. Um, and you just rest the barrel here. You don't hang it off the end of your rifle. Just rest it right there and make sure it goes right through the center every shot. This is 45 bucks if you want that. And then I would highly recommend getting a tripod of your choice. You can go from something like this one. I think these run for about 15 bucks on eBay. It got the bendy legs on it. Um, that's a good one. Or my own personal is you know a nice aluminum one like this. That's going to mean that's going to run you about 45 bucks. The Air Crony is going to give you the same information that a lot of the other chronographs out there are going to give you, such as maximum speed, minimum speed, average speed, uh, cadence is in there. Uh, this also gives you uh, foot pounds of energy if you enter in the weight of your projectile or your pellet in this case. It's also going to give you standard deviation and spread. Also in here, if you want to use a different language, it's got a whole bunch of different languages to choose from. Oh, and I wanted to mention that it's got um, an error factor of 0.46 feet per second, plus or minus. So your battery covers right back here, a little plate. It's a metal plate and it's held in with uh, two little magnets. And then you've got three AAA batteries inside. Now I mentioned that because of two reasons. One, the little metal plate doesn't have a little plastic tab on it that's going to wear out and break over time. I dig that. It does also doesn't have that tiny itty bitty little tiny screw that you have to undo to get to your batteries. That's cool. It's one of those pet peeves of mine, I guess. <laughs> but additionally, you have the option to plug it into the wall, which I think is really, really cool. If you're just using it like in your shop, you're right next to a power source, you have this option. That's awesome. Uh, here's the box, nothing special about the box. <laughs> and the instruction manual. Now the instructions is one sheet of paper and it's kind of like a follow along the pictures type thing. I won't get into it too much. If you guys get the chronograph, you'll read through it and see how you like it. Um, I found it to be a little confusing at first, trying to figure it out, trying to find out what buttons did what, because these buttons are not labeled in any way. So it's S1, S2, and S3 is what they call them. And, uh, but I'll tell you guys, after using this a few times and just going through the features, it was real quick to pick up, really quick. Also inside the box, I found the protective case, which is really nice because it's it's like a, um, it's almost like cardboard with a little bit of foam in it. So it's gonna protect your chronograph real nice and just pack it up real cool like that. Or if you needed to, just for a real quick shot or something, you could actually just never even take it out of the case and use it. And the last thing I found in the box was this cable. This is for connecting to your computer. So you can store your shot string on the Air Crony and bring it over to your computer and download it onto your computer. And it's going to graph it out for you. It's going to give you some information. Every little shot's going to be listed. And we'll show you that a little bit later on. So to give you guys a little bit of history of, you know, who am I to be talking to you about chronographs? This is my sixth chronograph that I've owned. I have four in the shop today and the other ones I've since, uh, you know, sold off a long time ago. So I've tried them. I've tried this one and I've deci deciphered its strong points and weak points and that one and this style and different sensors and different ways that they work and lighting, all kinds of different environments. And with all the work that I've been doing lately with my competition rifles, I made some significant changes and I'm chronographing like crazy. I kept reaching for this one. And initially, yes, it's the newest thing in the shop, so I'm going to reach for it. But it was more than that. And I really tried to think about it like, why do I keep reaching for this one over the rest. What sets this apart from the masses? And it came down to two things. The first one is simplicity. You literally put it down in front of your rifle, turn it on, and shoot through it. Done. Nothing to put onto your rifle, nothing to set up. Is it straight? Is it crooked? Is the lighting right? None of that stuff. Put it in front of your rifle, shoot through it. And the second one is almost as important as that in fact, it's probably even more important, is errors. I have not had one single error with this chronograph. 
and I've been shooting hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it. Enough <laughs> that I killed the batteries. <laughs> so that should give you an idea of just how much I've been using this thing. I've been trying to screw this thing up so that I can tell you guys about it during this review and I haven't had a single error, not one. And to be honest, there's a lot of rifles out there that the first one to three shots can be different than the whole rest of the shot string. If you throw an error during those one to three shots, you lose that information. Try again tomorrow or in a couple of hours. Uh, with this one, you get that information every time. And for me, I, that's just, to me, that's huge. That's really a big deal. All right, guys, let's go through the screens real quick. Uh, you've got your home screen here, which has which shot you're on and the energy and then your velocity. As you scroll down, you've got number of shots, average energy, average speed. You've got minimum speed, maximum speed. You've got your consistency and then your standard deviation, cadence, which is how fast you're shooting. Uh, and then you're back to the home screen. If you hit this first button here, you've got bullet weight and then you can go up or down. Nice thing is when you turn this off and put it away for the day or whatever, and then you come back and turn it back on again, it's still going to have that same uh, pellet weight in it. So you don't have to change that every time. Now the pellet weight is a little important if you want to know your energy level. Other than that, you don't even have to worry about it. Uh, in order to get to the memory part, we scroll down just real quick to average speed, and then we'll hit this first button here, and then you've got right to the device, that's that button, clear memory, and it does time out. Uh, you got clear memory here, and then you've got this R, which I don't know why it's an R, but that's to send it to your computer. That's pretty much it. So now I've got my Huntsman Revere here. It's new to me. I haven't shot it over the chronograph yet, so let's throw about 30 shots over the chronograph and see how it does. So I've got everything charged up, chronograph set up. I'm going to take about 30 shots through here just to get a baseline, see how it's functioning. One of the nice things about the Air Crony is there's nothing attached to the rifle. So there's nothing that's going to cause any difference in the harmonics of the rifle or it's going to cause barrel droop or anything like that. So I can work on my accuracy while using the Air Crony. Another thing I can watch for is if I get a flyer, I can look up real quick and see my number. How fast was that shot? Was that a speed issue or was it something else? And that makes 30. After I was done shooting, I wrote my shot string to my air crony, going through the little buttons, and then I uh, hooked it up to my computer with the USB cable, a little plug right here. Now, when you open up the program, this is going to be the first screen that you see. And on the upper right side, you're going to see connection. Open that up, connect to the USB modem, and hit OK. And then if you want, it's optional. Uh, if you want, you can put in your pellet weight. And get that done and now we're back to the crony which is turned on uh, and we scroll down to the average speed go into memory and we're going to write we're only going to hit this just for a real quick just like that it only takes like a tenth of a second or so if you hold that button it's going to write it over and over and over and over again so you'll have this shot string repeat 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 once your shot strings dumped onto your computer you can see all your shots lined up all your energies lined up you've got max speed average speed minimum speed and mid speed as well as energy all that same stuff in energy as well so here's my line and it looks a little nuts at first but if you actually look at it it's only a 15 feet per second spread over 30 shots and since it's focused on in on those it really exaggerates any speed differences quite a bit but this allows you to get a visual on what your gun is doing Let's wrap things up with a little pros, cons, and shooter's perspective. And what it all boils down to, guys, is I really like this chronograph. I like it a lot. <laughs> I have other chronographs that I can choose from in the shop here, and I keep reaching for this one. And I think it comes down to those two reasons I mentioned earlier. The simplicity of setup and zero errors. Those, to me, are huge. Now, the size of it, that's going to be a plus. Common batteries, that's a plus. Having the option to go plug into the wall, 
another plus. Having everything in the box that you need, except for the tripod, that's a plus as well, including the case. Well guys, that's all I've got for you on the Air Crony. If you need more information on it, you can go over to airgunsofarizona.com and read up about it, or feel free to give them a call. They'd be happy to talk to you about it. I hope you enjoyed this review. As always, thanks for watching and happy shooting. Mm -hmm.